This video of, of mine is about blindness, which is the inability to see anything including light. Earlier I posted a short video in which I uh, presented an overview about blindness. Today I am going to discuss this problem in detail. Okay. Well, if you are partially blind, you have limited vision. For example, you may have blurry vision or the inability to distinguish the shapes of objects. Complete blindness means you cannot see at all. Legal blindness refers to vision that is highly compromised. What a person with regular vision can see from 200 feet away, a legally blind person can see from only 20 feet away. You should seek medical attention right away if you suddenly lose the ability to see. Have someone bring you to the emergency room for treatment. Do not wait for your vision to return. Depending on the cause of your blindness, immediate treatment may increase your chances for restoring your vision. Treatment may involve surgery or medication. Now I'll tell you the symptoms of uh, blindness. If you are completely blind, you see nothing. If you are partially blind, you might experience the symptoms such as cloudy vision, and inability to see shapes, seeing only shadows, poor night vision, tunnel vision. Okay. And now I'll tell you the symptoms of blindness in infants. Your child's visual system begins to develop in the womb. It does not fully form until about two years of age. By six to eight weeks of age, your baby should be able to fix their gaze on an object and follow its movement. By four months of age, their eyes should be properly aligned and not turned inward or outward. The symptoms of visual impairment in young children can include constant eye rubbing and extreme sensitivity to light, poor focusing, chronic eye redness, chronic tearing from their eyes, a white instead of black pupil, poor visual tracking or trouble following an object with their eyes abnormal eye alignment or movement after six months of age. So these are the symptoms of blindness in uh, young children. Now I will tell you the causes of blindness. Uh, uh, there are eye diseases and conditions that can cause blindness. Uh, well, this video uh, is a sort of general, uh, uh, I'll tell you about the general causes and treatment about uh, uh, blindness. I will, uh, if I get a time, I will uh, discuss about individual diseases which can cause blindness. Okay. Okay. So I was telling you the causes of blindness. The first cause which is important is uh, glaucoma uh, that refers to different eye condition that can damage your optic nerve, which carries visual information from your eyes to your brain. The second cause uh, very important is macular degeneration that in which the, uh, there's a distraction of the part of your eye that enables you to see details. It usually affects older adults. Cataracts also can cause cloudy vision. They are more common in older people. A lazy eye can make it difficult to see details. It may lead to vision loss. It is also known as amblyopia. Optic neuritis is inflammation that can cause temporary or permanent vision loss. Retinitis pigmentosa, pigmentosa refers to damage of the retina. It leads to blindness only in rare cases. Tumors that affect the retina or optic nerve can also cause blindness. Blindness is a potential complication if you have diabetes or have a stroke. I mean there are systemic diseases which can also cause blindness in which diabetes and stroke are very common. There are some other common causes of blindness that include birth defects, eye injuries or if there are complications from eye surgery. Now I'll tell you causes of blindness in infants. The following conditions uh, which I'll tell you now can impair vision or cause blindness in infants. Infections such as pink eye, well I have already a video about pink eye on my channel. Then there another reason is blocked tear ducts, cataracts, strabismus which, which also known as crossed eyes. Okay amblyopia which is lazy eye, ptosis which is a droopy eyelid and also glaucoma can be congenital. So this, are, this is a, uh, another cause of uh, blindness in uh, young children. Okay. 
then there is the condition which is known as retinopathy or prematurity which occurs in premature babies when the blood vessels that supply the retina are not fully developed uh, then uh, there could be visual inattention or delayed development of your child visual system okay and uh, now i'll tell you uh, about the people who are at risk of blindness this category of people which i am going to tell you now are at risk of blindness the first is that people with the eye disease such as macular degeneration and glaucoma people with diabetes are also at risk people who have a stroke people undergoing eye surgery people who work with or near shot uh, work with or near shot objects or toxic chemical are also at increased risk also there is a risk of blindness in premature babies okay now i'll tell you how the blindness is diagnosed okay a thorough eye exam by an optometrist will help determine the cause of your blindness or partial loss of vision your eye doctor will ad- administer a series of tests that measure the clarity of your vision the function of your eye muscles how your people react to light they will examine the general length of your eyes using a slit lamp which is a low power microscope paired with a high intensity light now i'll tell you how to diagnose blindness in infants a pediatrician will screen your baby for eye problems shortly after birth at 6 months of age have an eye doctor or pediatrician check your child again for visual acuity focus and eye alignment the doctor will look at your baby's eye structures and see whether they can follow a light or colorful object with their eyes your child should be able to pay attention to visual stimuli by 6 to 8 weeks of age If your child does not react to light shining in their eyes or focus on colorful objects by 2 to 3 months of age have their eyes examined right away have your child's eye examined if you notice crossed eyes or any other symptoms of impaired vision okay now i'll tell you the, uh, about the treatment of blindness in general in some cases of visual impairment one or more of the uh, methods which i'm going to tell you may restore vision the first is eye glasses and another method is contact lenses and, and then obviously there is a role of surgery in some condition then there are some illnesses which can be treated with medications okay if you experience partial blindness that cannot be corrected your doctor will provide guidance on how to function with limited vision for example you can use a magnifying glass to read increase the text size on your computer and or use audio clocks and audio books complete blindness requires approaching life in a new way and learning new skills for example you may need to learn how to read braille uh, use a guide dog organize your home so you can easily find things and stay safe fold money in distinct ways to distinguish bill amounts you can also consider getting some adaptive products like a specialized smartphone color identifier and accessible cookware there is even adaptive sporting equipment like sensory soccer balls uh, now i'll tell you the, what's the long term outlook of, about uh, blindness a person's long term outlook for restoring vision and slowing vision loss is better than treatment better when treatment is preventive and sought immediately surgery can effectively treat cataracts they do not necessarily result in blindness early diagnosis and treatment are also important in cases of glaucoma and macular de- degeneration to help slow down or stop visual loss uh, now i'll tell you how can blindness be prevented to detect eye disease and help prevent vision loss get regular eye examinations if you receive a diagnosis of certain eye condition such as glaucoma treatment with medication can help prevent blindness to help prevent vision loss the american optometric association recommends you have your child eye examined at 6 months of age at 3 years of age every year between 6 and 17 years old okay if you notice symptoms of vision loss between routine visits make an appointment with their eye doctor immediately so this was a general video about uh, blindness if you if you suffer from any condition which are uh, i mean causing sort of blindness or blurring of vision in your eyes you can post in comment section and i'll try to make a video about this uh, there uh, about your illness because as i mentioned in this uh, video there are so many reasons of blindness and if i start discussing all the reason it will be a very very long video 
so uh, if i get a time in the future i will make videos about individual illnesses which can lead to blindness okay and uh, till now if you haven't uh, subscribed my channel please subscribe it now and click the bell icon so that all upcoming videos are delivered to your inbox straight away and if you think that my video provides some sort of benefit even if it is little benefit please uh, do not forget to give a thumbs up to this video because that will give me encouragement to produce more useful videos such as this one and uh, also do not forget to share my videos through social media such as facebook and twitter